the problem of needle littering in parts of Minneapolis. The city is installing its 11th syringe drop box this week in North Minneapolis for used needles. There are 10 more scattered around South Minneapolis in an effort to keep the sidewalks clean and safe. Aaron Hassanzada shows us how the city's efforts are making a difference. It's the middle of winter, but needle littering is still clearly a problem here in South Minneapolis. You can see one syringe here on the ground just off of Bloomington Avenue. And over here, a sea of orange needle caps in the corner. You can see several needles. So this is really proof that this problem is not going anywhere. Well, anytime during the day, you'll find needles. Greg Lowe sees a lot of action in his South Minneapolis alley off of Bloomington Avenue and 25th Street. They get their supplies, they go up in the alley. I was in New York for a while, and New York was cleaner than this mess. But he doesn't just sit back and watch. I pick them up all the time. The city isn't sitting back either. Just steps from this pile of needles in Greg's alley, you'll find this needle drop box installed by the city health department. It's an idea. It's, it's, it's a start. All told, we've collected about a thousand needles so far. This crew goes out a few times a month to empty the 10 needle drop boxes that were installed late last fall. I'm happy with what we've done so far. I did anticipate more and I do anticipate more. This box off of Bloomington and East 25th has been used the most. The city says of the thousand needles they've collected since November, 600 of them have come from right here. We followed the crew to four different needle drop boxes where they collected a total of 28 used syringes. It's a program that cities like St. Paul and Milwaukee are looking into as the opioid epidemic stands strong. Usage isn't changing, so it, it really is that it's either happening somewhere else. Uh, my guess is needles are inside somewhere now. The city is still figuring out if this effort will be worth it. But to fix a problem, you have to start somewhere. It's an effort by someone. In Minneapolis, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. The needle drop boxes cost $2,500 each, and the cleanup contract cost $50,000 for one year. The city will reevaluate and move unused boxes when spring rolls around.